you wish to purchase a motorcycle. The dealership offers 10-year mortgages at 9.9% interest. You can afford to have monthly payments of no more than $400. What is the most expensive motorcycle you can purchase under these conditions? Well, here we're dealing with a mortgage. So let's write out our mortgage formula. We know the monthly payment is equal to M, the amount of money that you're mortgaging, times 1 plus R over 12, raised to the 12Y power, times R over 12, all over 1 plus R over 12 to the 12Y power, take away 1. And here the variables are M, how much money you're mortgaging, R, the interest rate, and Y, the number of years. And this particular question says they're dealing with a 10-year mortgage for this motorcycle, so Y is going to be 10, unlike it's usually 30 for the house mortgage questions. It says the bank is giving you 9.9% interest, high interest rate, but you want this motorcycle, so here our R is 0 0.099. What is the most expensive motorcycle you can purchase? Well, here you're trying to figure out what M is. You're trying to figure out how much money you can afford to mortgage. They're telling you that you can afford monthly payments of no more than $400. So I'm going to set my monthly payment equal to 400 and then go about finding what the M value is and that'll tell me how expensive of a motorcycle I can buy for a $400 payment. And then that'll be the most amount of money I can spend on this motorcycle. So here I'm going to have the monthly payment. So that's going to be my $400. That equals M, so that's going to be my X value, times parentheses 1 plus R over 12, 0.0499 over 12, raised to the 12y power, so that's 12 times 10, times another r over 12, so 0.099 over 12, all over 1 plus 0.099 over 12, raised to the 12y power, take away 1. So my goal is going to be to solve this equation for x to find how much motorcycle I can get for a $400 a month payment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set y1 equal to 400. I'm going to set y2 equal to this mess on the right-hand side. And I'm going to go about finding the point of intersection of those two sides of the equation. When you try to graph this mortgage formula, your calculator, due to its limited uh, technology, makes it difficult for you to see the entire right-hand side of the equation. So just always double-check and make sure that you have your values correct as far as what it is you're trying to solve. Now here we're trying to find the point of intersection of these two sides. The challenging part about these questions is to get the viewing window set up properly so that you can find the point of intersection. So I'm going to set up my y's first. What does y represent? Well, here, Y1 is 400. What is 400? 400 is money. That's how much money you want to spend per month. So I know my Ys are going to be money. So I'm going to set my Y min to be zero. And here, I see $400. So I'm going to set my Y max a little bigger than that. So in this case, $500. For my Xs, what does X represent? Well, X represents how much money I'm trying to mortgage. X represents the price of the motorcycle. Now I have no idea how much motorcycles cost, they're not my thing, but I want to try to figure out how expensive of a motorcycle I can buy. So as far as X min, I know motorcycles can't be negative in value, so my X min is going to be zero. X max, again I have no idea. I know houses cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Maybe I'll assume this is a really, really expensive motorcycle. Maybe I'll set my X max to be a hundred thousand and I'll see if that works out. If not, I might have to address my viewing window to find that point of intersection. But this is the viewing window that I'm going to start off with for this question. When you do these questions, when you deal with the mortgage formula, since it is so intricate, 
your calculator may take a while to actually go about graphing both sides of the equation. So a lot of times you have to be patient. You'll actually see in the upper right hand corner a spinning circle. Like my calculator is showing me right here. And my advice is if, if that it lasts about uh, 10, 15, 20 seconds and it's still giving you that issue, just press second and on to stop it from graphing and then try to re-graph it. But here after about 10, 15 seconds, my calculator went about giving me the prompts for the point of intersection. And here my point of intersection turned out to be this 30,395.69 comma y is equal to 400. So here how expensive of a motorcycle can this person afford to have $400 a month payments? Here it looks like the motorcycle you can afford is $30,395.69. So that would be the price of the motorcycle.